Good evening, everybody. This is Karen March from Hilton Head On, South Carolina. All right, guys, today I opened up a box that I knew was from New Jersey, and I'm trying to go through all my papers that I have, and guess what? I had worked as a volunteer at Raccoon Ridge Bird Observatory, assigned by Mrs. Dorothy Hughes. She was the director at the time. Um, I was about to go into ninth grade, so um, it's pretty interesting. What happened was my mom and I found a baby robin that fell out of a tree in our yard. This is out in New Jersey, out in the country, and so I don't know if we already knew about this place or we found it, but Friends of the Raccoon Ridge Bird Observatory so helped to raise money uh, for public education, rehabilitation of injured birds and small mammals, natural science, library and resource center, college internships. And I had worked there uh, just for a short time to help raise the bird, the robin, and then I got the bandit and set it free. It was really cool. And so along with the Raccoon Ridge Bird Observatory, Moose Dance Pond Institute, there was a Stokes State Forest nearby. I don't remember how far it was from our house, but I just remember we went there in the summer one time with my grandmother on my mom's side. Pretty cool. And then, listen, way back, I started doing cutouts. Look, these are like little glass animals. Uh, I started doing cutouts of, uh, there's an Audubon print of Bald Eagle. But out of magazine stuff, I would just randomly say bird uh, stamps. This is a bluebird. Uh, coming up in 2021, I'll be a volunteer for the Sea Pines Bluebird Project going on its 10th year. Can you believe it? Um, start out with a total of six people. Uh, I was one of six. And then everybody dropped out. So I've continued it just because it gives me an opportunity to film bluebirds, brown-headed nuthatches, um, 28 species of birds total, alligators, uh, what else, turtles, flying squirrels, you can't make this stuff up. Anyway, so it's interesting, now here's an interesting foreshadowing, I saved this card, okay, and I'm in my late 50s, and so can you imagine, back in New Jersey, I must have gotten some free stationery, and it says right here, let's see if I could read it, uh, a picture and information about the little blue heron. So it's got information on the back. And at Pink Neon, I've been filming out there, well, videos for six years, pictures for seven, and then with the throwaway camera, 10 years total. Um, so it's kind of interesting. And then, now this is not New Jersey, but Eagle Nest documented, listen to this, the Golden Eagle, so about 366 Golden Eagle Nest sites been found and documented in Nevada. Now, I, I did get to attend a Golden Eagle seminar with the Low Country Master Naturalist. Whoa. Okay, sorry about the filming. I was trying to see how I could fit all this. Now, I don't know if our family, you know, went to Cornell. I, have, I doubt it. I don't know. We must have just got a bunch of uh, brochures. Hawk Mountain is very popular in New Jersey. And then look, the National Wildlife Federation, which I belong to now. Isn't that crazy? And then here's another Cornell Laboratory of Ornithology. I belong to them, of course. Of course. Who would not? And then Birds of the Delaware Water Gap. Pretty cool. And then New Jersey Raptor Association. So I found all these papers today, super organized. And the um, back to the Raccoon Ridge Bird Observatory. Well, of course, they also rescued raccoons, which is really cool. Located within a bird migratory pathway at the Delaware Water Gap National Recreation Area, Raccoon Ridge Bird Observatory was established in early 1975 as a nonprofit ornithological gosh, research field station. Today, more than, more than research is going on at the observatory. In addition to wildlife rehabilitation, staff at the observatory conduct education programs for all levels. And I think they're still around today um, and field biology and education. Now, when I was there, I worked with Mrs. Hughes 
on an old egg collection. Pretty cool. I want to say it was eggs from like the 1900s and we were labeling it. And I even found some, um, which was interesting, two letters. I was writing to the Department of Conservation in Illinois, I guess for some book reports uh, that I was working on. So isn't that, isn't that wild? Uh, no pun intended, wild. So look, these are Canada geese. You can't call them Canadian geese because not all geese live in Canada. But, oh, and look, foreshadowing of owning two parrots. I have Freedom is right around the corner for me right now. Um, I've had him for nine years. I had another parrot named Boo for 19. But anyway, I thought people might get a kick out of the backstory of how I got into birding. But remember, I didn't start birding again until 10 years ago. So Raccoon Ridge Bird Observatory. And look, wildlife notes, things to know about bird watching. Pretty cool. All right, we're signing off live with just a, a throwback of New Jersey uh, Raccoon Ridge Bird Observatory, Layton, New Jersey. Have a great day.